Hi, I'm Sarah Shipley, Digital Asset Manager for the Seattle Municipal Archives, and I'm going to take you on a quick behind-the-scenes tour of our digital collections. The city records that are created today include email, Word documents, PDFs, spreadsheets, databases, websites, and social media. These records live on servers, not pieces of paper. While electronic records may not be what you think of in archives, they don't have an aged patina, fading ink, or crumbling paper edges, they are just as valuable to recording our city's history. Preserving these records starts as soon as they are transferred to the archives. We use a tool that takes an inventory and a digital fingerprint of the records called a checksum. Before the records are transferred, we run these checksums, and when we receive the records, we check again to make sure it's the same. When we process electronic records, we weed out any personal information and non-record material, separate any sensitive information such as attorney-client privilege, and remove duplicate files. We describe the materials in a finding aid so researchers can find the material. If needed, we convert the files into a format that is accessible without proprietary software. We then load the files into our electronic record search interface to make them available through search of the full text and metadata. For email, a specialized software tool called EPAD helps us accession and process the material to allow for better access for researchers. Some records such as social media and websites are so complex and dynamic that they require software devised and maintained by archival specialists and information professionals. For these, we use Archivit for websites and Archive Social for social media. After processing, we need to consider long-term preservation. There are many steps to take in order to ensure an electronic record's longevity. Archivematica is a software tool that allows us to set up preservation management steps for specific types of formats and collections. In addition to assigning unique IDs, checksums, checking for viruses, and other steps, we can decide if we need to change the format into a more standard one called normalization and whether we need to make access copies. In addition to the born digital records I've talked about, we also catalog and digitize analog records. These are a very small percentage of our analog holdings. We have millions and millions of items, and it would take decades to digitize them all. So we digitize select collections and items that we believe would benefit our researchers the most. For printed and transcribed textual materials, these items are now discoverable in a way they never have been before due to the full text indexing on our site. You can find out more about our digital holdings on the SMA Archives website under Digital Archives.